lot of people said I'm lying on YouTube. Go back to all my stories. They all came out. They all came out. You even had Lil Dirk retweeted. Lil Dirk retweeted one of my stories. Reese now, a uh, Reese now came out. I was on the couch. I popped. On that, I've been told this story two years ago. You hear me? But I ain't never mentioned, mentioned Reese. I ain't never mentioned Budden. I ain't never mentioned none of them. I just said it was a scary sight from Fredo. Because Fredo dead. And they came out with it, not J Main. Yeah, it was a scary sight with Fredo. It was. But J Main just said I was lying two months ago about the story. So I'm confused, bro. Like, did it really happen or not? Because I'm confused now. Because mm -hmm. he admitting it now. And this one was really like in the news and reports. It was yeah. in the news and yeah. everything, bro. I told a real story, bro. Yeah. But I just never mentioned Lil Durk now. Uh, none of that. Boy. I just yeah. said it was. I just said y'all fan rappers ain't no goofy. Like, so they tried me. They seen me. And, oh, he gonna go for it. He ain't gonna count it. You know, he probably buy all weed and shit. You hear me? Like, they tried me, though. Man, me and my brother, me and my big brother, rest the PC money, how to shoot out. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Uh, it, it was a, another question I had to, I had that, um, I had from the last interview. You said that you really wasn't off the porch into the streets until you lost your friend Romel. Yeah. You said after that, that's when you started playing with guns. That's when you started taking stuff. Like, what was it about that particular situation, losing him, that caused you to really get out there like that? Oh, um, like, because at first we were just, we would just, we would be like, just walking around, chilling with the girls, you mm -hmm. know, talking to girls, coming up my crib. I stayed 75, 34 Kingston in the courtway building on the third floor. My sister was always gone. She always at work. She had two jobs. She worked for Ford, and then she get off at work hospital at night. Getting that so, paper. Getting that paper, bro. My little sister. So, when she was, my little sister was getting that paper, working that forward and doing that, I'm like, that, I finna motherfucking, um, I finna do, I finna handle my business and do what I'm doing. And, shit, when we lost, when we lost Romeo, bro, I was like, damn, bro. I was like, shit. I was like, damn. And then it was time to pick up guns, shit, we, we all heard and, and crying, we all heard and sad. It did. That's when I took my first pipe for somebody. And then uh, I've been taking shit ever since then. On that thing. Go around niggas seeing what pipes. I know they goofy, so I'm taking it. You only gonna take a pipe from a, for a person you feel like they are goofy. Like they won't shoot you? Like they ain't coming back. A real motherfucker who you know coming back, you ain't gonna take that pipe. And if you take that pipe, you gonna run with it. I've been around people that I took shit from. And they ain't did nothing. Niggas getting like the dude with the no limit dude. He embarrassed himself, bro. It was embarrassing. I just seen you. I ain't, I ain't mean to drop his low either to, to the public. I didn't mean to drop his low. Mm -hmm. All I was tell, trying to tell him is, I just seen your ass in No Love City. You know what I'm talking about? And you were just telling me, oh, man, you trust your news. What's up? And then when I get on here three weeks later with Cairo, you saying that I took your guns, bro. Like, what well, that shit weird to me. You hear me? But really, I took his bitch, his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? But he try to make it, try to make it out like I took some guns from them, bro. Well, really, I ain't take no guns, bro. I just seen this motherfucker. Why he ain't say no? me and my homie and say, man, you took my guns. He ain't say none of that, bro. He ain't tell me none of that. And I was at his crib. I mean, to, to be fair, on that live, do you feel like he was saying it in a way to be disrespectful? He was just, just saying it like, man, you know, you would take, you the swiper, you taking stuff, you took Nah, it. he was saying it trying to be, trying to, trying to cloud up. Like I took some from him. Like he as if he trying to come on YouTube and get on YouTube. He trying to get. Oh, you think he was playing chess? Yeah, I, I don't know what he was playing, but I know he's playing with the wrong motherfucker. Like I ain't take shit from you, dude. I I'll tell you if I took something from you. I have no problem. I I done told y'all a lot of stories that I took shit. I ain't got no problem with telling that. What I'm alive for? And I took all this shit. What makes your story different? I ain't take no guns from you or none of that though. Cause you lying. Yo ass any time, but I was 15 years old when you took the gun from yeah, me. Yeah, so that yeah, mean yeah. I thought you was a goofy. If you 15 years old and, and I'm 17, 18 years old, for hell yeah, I'm finna take the gun from you, a shorty. Then we trying to get wild. We trying to rob a motherfucker. What is you doing with the gun? Like, come on, man. Like, you gotta make you gotta make it make sense, bro. Like, when niggas be doing this talking on, on that, you just gotta pay attention to what they saying, bro. And then you break it down yourself. Don't just judge it off. Oh, man, he lying. Because a nigga saying you lying. You know what I'm talking about? Because a lot of people said I'm lying on YouTube. 
Go back to all my stories. They all came out. They all came out. You even had Lil Durk retweeted. Lil Durk retweeted one of my stories. Reesey now, uh, uh, Reesey now came out. My was on the couch. I popped. On that, I've been told this story two years ago. You hear me? But I ain't never mentioned mention Reesey. I ain't never mentioned Butter. And I ain't never mentioned none of them. I just said it was a scary sight from Fredo. Because Fredo dead. And they came out with the shit. Not J-Main. Yeah, it was a scary sight with Fredo. It was. But J-Man just said I was lying two months ago about the story. So I'm confused, bro. Like, did it really happen or not? Because I'm confused now. Because mm -hmm. he admitting it now. And this show was really like in the news and reporting. This shit was yeah. in the news and yeah. everything, bro. I told a real story, bro. Yeah. But I just never mentioned Lil Durk now. Uh, none of that. I just yeah, said yeah, it was. Yeah. I just said y'all favorite rappers ain't no goofy. They ain't no goofies how niggas saying portraying they some goofies. They weren't no goofy that day. Let me ask you this though, Swipe, man. Although they may have pulled that move, does that really make you like a real dude just because you can come and shoot at somebody though, bro? Does that not make you a goofy just because you willing to shoot a gun at somebody, dog? Does that not make you a goofy? Or rephrase it. Rephrase yeah, it. like how you said, like, they ain't no goofies, like... You say y'all favorite rappers ain't no goofies like y'all. Some people saying they are, but did yeah. that make you real? No, no, you no. Hard? That don't make you real. You see what I'm that. saying? But what I'm saying is that don't make you real. But you know, at that day, I seen a lot of people hurt. I seen a lot of people hurt. I'm looking from the outside. I'm looking from the from the inside out now. You know, cause I was there. I was. I wasn't on the scene. I was in the house. But I seen the wind, the struggle, we the holes and all that shit with my own eyes. You hear me? We looking out the window like, damn, I'm all fucking getting busy. You hear me? So, I, I seen it. I seen people going through. I seen people crying. I seen motherfuckers on the ground, you know, at what 12 at, what ambulance. You know what I'm talking about? But, y'all don't see that. Y'all just see this tough persona and all this. I done seen motherfuckers out there crying, literally. Mm. Crying the river. You hear me? Y'all don't get to see that shit. I seen it. I done seen it a lot of times, bro. And it's they friends. You know, but if I was there and I seen it, nigga, it's my story. How come it ain't my story? The fuck? I was there. If I was there, it's my story, right? Mm. I mean, you can't tell no story if you want there, but I can tell the story because I was there. Oh, so you cool? Yeah, we cool. Oh, oh yeah. No, nah, yeah, I was just asking. I mean, because that, because you can take a life or shoot somebody. I don't necessarily. Yeah, it don't make say you know real nigga, but yeah. they be on, they do be on that clown and you know I'm talking about like the dirt, he a goofy and all mm -hmm. that. I'm just saying, you know. Everybody can get caught. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Anybody can go there and do it, even sure. the goofies. Man, um, taking a step back to when you was talking about being on the live with Cairo and the other guy. Man, I saw recently you was on live and uh, they had added Cairo. Talking about he wanted to box you. Yeah. 